Good morning. We are back on Morning Noon Tonight. I'm Jody Zarkos. I'm joined now by Kim Bove. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Very good, thanks. So your work is appearing at Gallery De Novo in Correct. Ketchum right now. Tell me, how would you define your art? Uh, my art is uh, a uh, relationship with uh, the man and the universe. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I translate this to my uh, canvas. And uh, it's the question of the uh, man in uh, you know, the vast universe, the, uh, um, you know, who we are, where are we going, you know. Uh, in your view, are, is man large in, r compared to the universe, or are we very tiny in the universe? I would say that we are almost insignificant, you know, even though we think they are, we are, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. selfish, thinking that we are the most important things, but I feel it's in immensity there that uh, enigmatic, you know, for us. So, yeah, I feel that we're very, very small. Very small. But your paintings and, and the images are so large mm -hmm. and vibrant. What does that represent in you, do you think? Uh, that, uh, you know, represent uh, this particular show. It's called Time Warps, mm -hmm. which is the uh, uh, gap that is between the time. And um, it's almost like the uh, cycle of our lives, you know. And uh, we can represent, I represent this to uh, our human scale which is, you know, our life, our cycles of our lives, mm -hmm. but it's related to the cycles of the life of the universe, too. It's everything is rotating and gravitating, you know. We think that, we, you know, the universe gravitates to us, but it's the opposite way. But they're very, when I look at the, uh, your paintings, they're very, they're very passionate and mm -hmm. vibrant and alive. Are those all things, you know, that are represented in there? Yes, because, you know, I think that one of the... Uh, you know, uh, important pieces is the energy. The mm -hmm. energy is what makes us move. Everything is moved throughout, throughout that, you know, and uh, that's why I use the vibrant colors. I think it's, you know, uh, the, the life, you know. I read that you use highly reflective oil and resin, mm -hmm. which allows a luminosity and depth, plus you can see yourself in the paintings? Well, uh, yeah, that's one of the pieces that uh, I can, uh, I want to set up a dialogue between the viewer and the uh, painter, uh -huh. so there's an interaction uh, when you see yourself in the painting, you are almost entering into another dimension, and then, you know, the, the, the painting communicates to you, you are both in the same, you know, a space. What do you hope, when somebody's standing there contemplating one of your paintings, what do you hope that they get out of it, the well, viewer? Uh, one of the things that I, I uh, you know, and I, I think the people understand here in Sambali, I, I had like really incredible comments, it's that the, uh, the uh, people, when they see my paintings, they, they, they are uh, embracing, you know, uh, my concepts, mm -hmm. and uh, they, uh, I don't know, they have a, uh, you know, feelings of, uh, you know, uh, being sometimes happy, I don't know, like, you know, give life. Do you think they identify with the feelings that you had when you were creating the paintings and therefore you are understood as an artist? Yeah, you know, um, obviously, you know, when you see a painting, you see it through your eyes and, mm -hmm. you know, you get the feeling through that. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to explain why and, uh, you know, many people, they get that just looking at the painting. Some people, they, you know, like to know a little bit more and they, they understand, you know, my concept and you know, why I'm painting this way. I was just looking at one of your paintings up on the screen. You tell me, Kim, were you, you were self-taught? Yes, I do. So yeah. when, at what age did you decide that you liked art and were going to learn more about it? Well, you know, uh, the thing is, like, I am coming from a community that it's, uh, you know, uh, Catalonia, it's all, mm -hmm. you know, the history of the art, it's almost everywhere. So I've been growing with that, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I was interested in art as part of our lives. And, uh, you know, I, I grew up with, with this, and uh, I always uh, had the uh, necessity of expressing, you know, and talking throughout my paintings and my drawings. So mm -hmm. it was since I was little. So have the works that you've been done, that you've done, are they very different from each other or have you followed similar themes throughout your career? Well, yes. Uh, I think one of the reasons, good question, is that uh, since I moved to the United States, I was mm -hmm. looking for a place that uh, gave me the energy and, you know, the desert, it's a, a mystical place. And uh, from that point, I, uh, you know, my paintings changed completely. Really? 
Really? What were you painting before you moved to Phoenix? It was a, uh, you know, uh, the inside of the abstract, you know, I am interested in the neo-expressionist mm -hmm. abstract, you know, uh, so it was in that line, but very conceptual. Uh, and uh, I think, you know, from the point that I start painting here, uh, it is, uh, you know, I don't know, I feel that the energy comes through me. Mm -hmm. uh, that goes directly from, you know, the universe and the desert. Uh, it's an inspirational thing. So are you, do you feel like you're a conduit for the energy that's out there, or are these your concrete ideas that you're putting down on canvas? I think you just said it. I am a conduit. Mm -hmm. Yes, I feel that because, uh, uh, you know, uh, when, you, when I work, uh, I almost enter into a different dimension, and I... I I lose the uh, sen you know the sense of the time, mm -hmm. and I feel that uh, that way that you know I'm painting what I feel in that moment, and I don't have any other you know things that they're affecting me except that. We should note that you moved from Europe and you've been living in Phoenix, Arizona for how many years now? It's about 10 years. But I was surprised we were chatting before the show started and you live, I pictured you living out in the desert, mm -hmm. maybe by the Superstition Mountains or something, and you actually live in downtown Phoenix or near the downtown near area? Downtown, yeah. You know, um, this is to me a misconception because I feel that the yeah, vortex that they call, it's not exactly physical, mm -hmm. but metaphysical. You can find the energy in the desert. Mm -hmm. Phoenix, it's, it's in the site of the desert, so either you are in Sedona or you are in, you know, any place there, right. I feel the energy, so there's no need for me to go to the mountains to feel that. <laughs> so your studio, is it by your house, or do you yes. have... Yeah? yeah, yes. And so what's a typical day like for an artist? Do you go out and you're going to paint for six hours, or do you wait for the mood to come upon you? Well, I typically, you know, work. I, I have a, uh, you know, kind of to me as an exercise, mental and physical. Mm -hmm. So I have to put myself in working every day. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like Picasso said many times, you paint, you know, many, many pieces. They're, they're not what you want. And you just continue to work. And do you, you know, writers get writer's block. Do you, do you ever get painter's block where you can't put your well, express? Well, definitely. Uh, this is, I mean, you know, uh, out of the master painters not every piece is a masterpiece you know mm -hmm. i don't think that's right and uh, you know we are humans and some days we do good things some days we do bad things and it's when it's you know when you work and you find you know something and then you look another you know and work and you know and find solutions to your challenges and equations do you is it true you sketch out each painting before you paint it yeah usually you know this is something that I do any place that I am in any moment if I have something that you know uh, flows to my uh, my head I sketch and then I keep this as a record mm -hmm. and then when I paint I use this as reference not necessarily as I'm going to make this exactly like that but I right. use this as a reference of my work Right. What are you particularly proud about, about this particular work that you've done, Time Warps? Well, uh, um, that's a good question, too. I feel, you know, after working, you know, kind of a, in evolution mode, I mm -hmm. feel that I am in a moment that I can express myself really well. Uh, and this work, at the show at Gallery de Novo, I think it, it tells what exactly I want to say. Mm -hmm. So it's a consistent body of work that uh, I'm very happy with that. <laughs> that you're, how many pieces are in it? Uh, there's about like uh, 20 some pieces, uh, you know, there's groupings of four pieces, mm -hmm. that is an image. Mm -hmm. How did the artist reception go last night? It was wonderful, uh, you know, it's, uh, I like to know opinions and what is interesting is when you are in different places, you know, people obviously it's different and the comments and everything were very positive and I'm still amazed of the quality of the gallery level here, the mm -hmm. artwork, and uh, uh, Michael and Robin at Gallery de Novo, they're you know, amazing people that they, I mean, passionate about art, and that's all good for and me. And that's all, Pat, yeah. I have to ask you one more question. You know, we get the stereotype of the tortured artist and, mm -hmm. you know, who suffers for his work. Are, are, does your work bring you peace? Well, you know, I would say, like, as a human, I have both. I have, you know, I, I, I you know, I suffer and I enjoy at the same time. You know, there's moments, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's not, I mean, you know, uh, yes, sometimes I am tortured. <laughs> yeah. As we all are. As we all are, as yeah. As we all are. And, you know, it's, you suffer with what you do sometimes, so, yes.
that, then, that happened to me too. It, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. But then you create something beautiful that everyone yes, can identify you know, with. Uh, this, you know, it's my language. It's my the way I want to express. And uh, you know, uh, my goal is when you know someone connects and understand mm-hmm. what I want to say. That's when I'm you know very happy. Well, we're very happy you came by the set of morning, noon, and night today. Kim Bovey, thank you so much. Thank you very much. For stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure meeting you, too. We will be back with more morning, noon, and night right after this on Plum.